Hey, hey, it's movie review time! Oh! Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Movie Review with the Neighbors. Today we're doing uh, Big Ass Spiders. It's actually from 2013. It's a movie that went directly to... DVD. Nobody says that anymore, right? It goes went directly to Netflix, I think. And it was directed by Mike Mendez and starred Greg Grunberg and Lombardo Boyar. And um, it it's a comedy, and it's it's pretty funny. I I loved how Greg Grunberg and um, and uh, Lombardo Boyar played off of each other. They they work with each other quite well. It uh, it was pretty humorous, just they really one letter did. after another. So it it all moved really well. Um, the uh, nerdy bug guy uh, with at Western um, um, exterminators. I just thought that how they managed to get a hold of that. But uh, yeah, it's it's a, a all while he was trying to win the woman. Mm-hmm. And uh, which he does actually manage to do by the end of the movie. Yes, he does. But uh, so it's it's a good movie. It's uh, one of those you don't really have to think too much. It's dumb movie. Um, it it has that made for Sci-Fi Channel feel to it, but I don't. I think it was not. I've seen it on Sci-Fi, but I don't think it was made for Sci-Fi. However, Greg Grunberg did another movie that was made for Sci-Fi Channel, where he plays almost exactly the same character called the End of the, of the Earth. End of the end world. End of the world. And uh, plays a nerdy um, uh, Hero. video store store owner, which of course don't exist anymore. So yeah, but he becomes the hero. So uh, mostly done with CGI, so very CGI feel to it, and um, you know that basic, really low budget kind of feel to it. It has uh, a cameo by Lloyd Kaufman of Trauma um, uh, Trauma movies. Is a is a victim in this, so it's pretty funny. Uh, really good movie. Has Lynn Shea in it, our favorite psychic from the Insidious movies. And uh, see, get to see her from before she did the Insidious. That's kind of neat. This was a really good one, guys. Uh, even though it had spiders in it. I'm not a big <laughs> fan of watching spiders, but this one was was worth it. I ended up staying awake through the whole thing. Wow. And we did get through the whole thing without too many breaks <laughs> and um which is always a good thing when it comes to a movie for me. So I would say it was definitely well worth the watch. How yep. many stars? I'd say three. I'd say really? A, 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 yeah, just because of the production values. It's it's really low budget, cheesy horror film. So, I, I don't want to give it, this, you know, a higher rating than that. Maybe three and a half. How's that? I, I would be three and a half. At, at, yeah, I would go three and a half easy with this movie because, uh, first of all, we're not big comedy people. And for us to actually get excited about a comedy movie, um, it deserves at least a three and a half to a four star rating for me. So... Big Ass Spiders, check it out. Let us know what you think about it. And we will see you next time on the next movie review. Bye. Bye.